Welcome to day 44 of my 100 days of Wafla journey. Today we're gonna go over how to build a slider on the level flow website. So we will build that slider from scratch using the swiper.js library. We we'll make it draggable, we'll make it one, one slide at a time and we'll make it autoplay as well. And we'll go over the options uh, again. I've done a tutorial on swiper.js earlier, but this one is gonna be something more simple and something more of a real use case where I'm gonna apply this on my real website. So without further ado, let's get to this. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey because a lot of cool stuff are on the way. So let's go. All right, so let's get to this. So first we are going to build a Swiper.js slider. So I've made a tutorial on Swiper.js. You can check that out if you wanna learn more about how we build that and why but I think Swiper.js is one of the most convenient um, swipers on Webflow that's compatible with Webflow. So Swiper.js has its features. So wait, let's first remove this image, make this, uh, so we'll connect our CMS and we'll make that the swiper. And I'm just styling it out. So let's remove the styles that was there for the image. And let's just uh, go to the collection. So in Swiper.js, there is a specific HTML layout that we need to follow. So the parent element is Swiper. Uh, then the child element is Swiper wrapper. And then the slide element is called uh, Swiper slide. So if you go on the documentations you can see that this is the html layout that they recommend uh, then i want to make sure that this card has a maximum height so maybe 21 ems yeah and then uh, what we need to do now is add the image so we'll add the image inside will be thumbnail image no not thumbnail image main project image and this will be wrapped actually in a div block. So we have it wrapped in a div block. This div block will be border radius, border radius. And it will have a similar radius to the parent element. And maybe we will uh, overflow hood. So we can see how this is looking now. Ah. So now that we have listed this, now we need to connect the swiper. So in order to connect the swiper, we'll need to connect some custom code. So I've prepared the code for you. You can copy it from the description below. Uh, so first there is a CSS code for the swiper. So that's connected here, uploaded here, written here in the head tag. And then there's the JavaScript file which is written here uh, and then below body tag. So I'm going to just write it here. So this script, basically first we're calling the JavaScript file and then we're calling the MPKG. Actually, I don't need this. So uh, script. Okay. So then we're calling the swiper. So we're, we want one slide. Yeah, there was a glitch. Okay, so we we don't need the MPKG. So we call the swiper bundle and then we have the document calling a const of swiper. Uh, we're targeting the swiper itself. One slide per view. We grab the cursor. We set that to true. Uh, we have a centered slider. We loop through it. We have space between. So you go if you go on swiper.js you can find these options in uh, here. So you can maybe you want some card effect. So you can have this sort of slider and you can just add effect and say cards. So this will add an effect. Uh, I will not display that now, but let's display what we have here. Actually, let's just uh, give this a view and see what we have done. So if we display this and go to the website, see that we have the slider uh, it auto plays uh, we just swipe through it like that also to test this on google lighthouse 
just to make sure that our slider is being you know performing well it's not affecting page speed it's not affecting SEO we'll just test this on Google Lighthouse to see what performance it does okay so it's doing well it's not affecting much of the page performance so that is great thank you for watching this video I hope I taught you something today make sure to stay tuned on this 100 days of webflow journey by subscribing to the channel give me a thumbs up if you like this video and see you tomorrow in day 45